Hello there. For those of you who are multi-sport athletes or cyclists and you're maybe using training peaks to plan out your workouts and maybe you're doing workouts in Zwift and you're trying to get a little bit more variety, I have something to share with you today. Um, you may already be familiar with ergdb.org, but if you're not, it's a fantastic database of over 4,000 cycling workouts that run the gamut in um, everything from endurance workouts all the way up to anaerobic workouts. Um, if you're not familiar with it, I'll take a minute to kind of show you what it's all about. You can go ahead and join, free account, really easy. The benefits of joining is that you can set up a library where all of the workouts that you like are stored. I'm gonna go ahead to the search tab here, and I'm going to do a workout search. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and I can search by a name, I can search by an author, um, I can also search by the workout types. Now here you'll see everything from tempo through anaerobic. Um, if you're looking for endurance workouts, those are gonna be listed um, with recovery workouts in this separate menu as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna narrow down my workouts and search for something that is threshold. I'm gonna click my search button. And now I'm only looking at all kinds of threshold workouts here. So when I find one that looks interesting, I can go ahead and take a look at it by clicking on the name of it. I can see what the workout's all about, time spent in my zones, everything else. And then if I decide I wanted to put that into my library, I can go back to the page before, and I think this is the one I was looking at. I can go ahead and add it into my library. Now, I set up some extra folders in my library because I like to go ahead and um, categorize them, makes them easier to find later. So this is a threshold workout, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my threshold folder. So now, when I go up to my library and search for threshold, um, I believe, yeah, Z4, this is the one that I just put in here. So there's a really great new feature that was just added to this if you were a Trainings Peak, Training Peaks user. Um, also, if you're a Garmin user, this will work with Garmin as well. If I go ahead and click on this Send icon, I can go ahead and send this workout to my Garmin calendar or my Training Peaks calendar and have it appear there. Once it's there um, in Training Peaks, I can go ahead a step further and have it automatically appear in Zwift. Now the way that you're gonna do this, the way that you set up this send menu area, is you have to go into more apps and devices, and then go ahead and connect to these two. I've already connected to them, so no worries there. Now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and open my Zwift account, just so you can see that I have nothing there right now coming from Training Peaks because I want you to kind of see the whole picture of how this works. All right, so Zwift is open. I'm going to go ahead and skip pairing for now. I'm gonna to go to my training menu. And now, custom workouts, as you know, is where you would normally go if you just wanted to kind of drag a Zwift workout into a folder on your computer. Normally, I don't use um, Zwift on my computer. I use it on an Apple TV. So it's a big extra step for me to have to come in, download a workout, put it into Zwift on my computer, then go to my Apple TV, turn it on, and run all that. So these are some that I put in in the past. But right now, if you take a look, there's nothing in here that shows um, a connection with Training Peaks. So I'm going to quit out of here now, and we're going to make that magic happen. So if I go back into, I'm sorry, if I go back into my library and my threshold folder and say send to Training Peaks, success. Now if I go to my Training Peaks account, you can see today I have a, um, a running workout that I did already today. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my calendar. And here is my new workout that um, I just imported. Now, it always imports the workout on the current date. 
So if I want to plan for the future, what I can do is I have some folders that I set up over on the side as another place for me to go ahead and organize all of my workouts. So this is a threshold workout. I'm just going to drag it and dump it in that threshold folder. And now it's in there. I can delete this. And if I want to put it on a different day, I can just go to my threshold folder, drag it out, and stick it on the day where I want it to appear. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back into today. And now I'm going to reopen Zwift. Let me refresh this. I don't, I'm not sure if I have to, but it might be a good idea. All right, so I have Zwift opening up again. Again, I am going to skip the pairing. And now when I go into training, here's those custom workouts again, I'm gonna scroll to the bottom, and now you see I have Training Peaks custom workouts. And it only pulls in the workout that you have scheduled for today. So since I dropped that one workout on today, when I click on this, here's my Z4 workout. I can go ahead and click on that. There's everything from before. I can go ahead and click the workout button and start my workout. So now you have the power of Training Peaks, you have the power of Zwift, and you have thousands of new biking workouts to add into your library. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, just put a comment in and I'll get back to you. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.